Hello guys, today I'm going to be testing the MC11 and the Metabones as I've been trying to determine whether one of them has some effect on the edges, especially of the adapted lenses. Uh, I noticed this with the Metabones 4 that I had before, uh, but I never did a formal test. So when I got the MB5, I decided to compare it to the MC11. And for that, I used the Canon 11 to 24. So it's like the widest lens that I could find to see what kind of performance uh, I get on the edges with the adapted lens. And I also got a Canon uh, 5D Mark IV in order to do a kind of like a normal lens and see if there's any difference between the native body using the lens and the adapted lenses. Now, it's a bit tricky because the Canon lacks the resolution of the, of the A7R III so and and the size and the detail but at least it gives you some sort of like a baseline comparison so here we're looking first at the mc11 and here we are at the top to get the mb of metabones 5 and just for another reference point this is the sony 12 to 24 f4 uh, of course it's a bit closer because this is a uh, 12 versus 11 so you can see in the center of the image the metabones I'm sorry the MC11 first and metabones they are similar uh, it's a bit of difference in lightning but uh, resolution wise they look very cl very close you can see the classic cars the antique and uh, maybe a tiny bit sharper on the metabones in this specific shot but this was my focus point right here where it says classic car museum now, if I move to the left side, this is where the things get interesting. So this is MC11. This has no lens corrections except uh, for uh, chromatic aberrations and the sharpening that Photoshop adds when you import it. That's all I did. I didn't use any lens profiles. And this is the Metabones. So this is a big difference here. Look at the writing here. Welcome to its place. It's very blurry on the Metabones. And same here with the texture of the bricks. Again, nothing was added except all were imported into Lightroom without, I'm uh, sorry, with, into Photoshop without any type of profile. All got the same treatment. And this is also one of 10 photos that I took for each lens uh, with adapter. So I, I look for all the best photos for each one, and it was a very consistent result. And so what you're looking at here is the best that Metabones did on that test. Here when we got the other side, once again we show the MC11. You can see the detail here is pretty good. So it is here. When you switch to the Metabones, again it loses, it gets mushier and blurry in comparison. And for reference, this is my 1224, which is kind of weak on the right side, as you can see here. And I will argue that the 1124 is actually sharper you can see the texture than the 1224 on the right side now moving to the left side just for comparison again this is the MC11 and the 1224 so pretty impressive in how this 1124 lens performs of course it's a lot bigger than the Sony native and a lot more expensive so I'm very happy with my, MC, with my 1224 but and of course, when you add the profiles and all that, it, a lot of this gets so good that it's hard to tell uh, the difference between them. But again, Metabones, MC11. Why is the Metabones doing this? I don't know. I do notice that it gets darker, so maybe the entrance area for the lens adapter is smaller than the MC11 and it's causing this kind of vignetting on the on the edges and also causing this degradation on the clarity of the image but it's real it's right there and as I said I did 10 photos for each and in each one looked the same pretty much center wise it's great but the moment you move to the sides and uh, right here for example you always see that the MC11 comes out on top and you can see here how this area shows darker with the metabones even though on the center they are pretty much equal if not brighter on the metabones 
So uh, I have one more test that I did again with the same lens. Once again, MC11 first. This was the area here with the face. It's where the focus area. So MC11, meta bones, they look pretty much the same on the center. This is the 1224 for reference. Now, again, we move here. Let's see here where it says 45 parking. And look at the meta bones. Blurry, MC11 more sharper and this is a 1224 for reference uh, you can even see here too the best way M mc11 meta bones blurrier you can see the trees you can see over here too mc11 meta bones so once again and let's do just a 200 here just to show you can see here how the detail, the number here, for example, you can sort of tell here with the detail. And when you go to the meta bones, it's a lot blurrier. And when we look at this image, though, I don't see the same vignetting that I saw in the other one. So I'm not sure then why it's what is causing this uh, image degradation. You can see here to see how much sharper the MC11 is in classic cars and look at the meta bones. It's just blurry, and then when you go to the Wix side of my 1224, the 1124 actually beats it. So, I'm pretty impressed with how that lens performs on the adapted. And uh, I have a reference here, which is this is a Canon, just for reference. This will be the Canon 5D Mark IV with the 1124 versus the MC11 course you know the a7r3 has a lot more detail and more resolution so but still look at that 5d a7 III. pretty impressive that it beats it with its own lens uh, on the other side let's see mark uh, the Canon and the MC11 Canon and MC11 so as the 1124 performs best on A7R3 with the MC11 than it on its own body. But again, this is not what I'm trying to show today. It's just I wanted to uh, give you an idea that your meta bones may be affecting the performance of your lenses, uh, especially wider lenses. Even though I did test, uh, I did a quick test with a 35 1.4 L2, and even with a 135 the Sigma. I still notice that moving away from the center, the meta bone starts degrading the quality of the sharpness on the on the image compared to the MC11. Why is it doing that? I don't know. Do, did I have a bad copy of the meta bones? I don't know what to say because the meta bones for it kind of showed me the same thing, even though I never formally tested it. So I tend to think that it's something on the design of the meta bones that is causing this, and not just a particular copy that I was using. But if somebody from Metabolism is watching this video and wants to send me another copy to retest, I'll be happy to do that. But as it stands right now, I'm more inclined to um, recommend the MC11 for pretty much any lenses to be adapted, except if you want eye, f eye focus and you don't have an A7 III, A7 R3, or A9, which are the ones that will support eye focus with the MC11 on any non Sigma lens. But if you have one of those three cameras, I will suggest going with the MC11. But do uh, make a search f uh, for your particular lens that you're going to be adapted because there are some lenses that perform better um, in autofocus than others depending on the adapter and the firmware that you're using. So it's best to always double check before you commit to one adapter or the other. But when it comes to wide performance, I think it's pretty clear that, I mean, MC11 bones it's not even close it's like almost two different lenses so if you've done similar tests or you had any comments any questions uh, please make uh, put a make a question on the on the video and let me know um, if you've seen similar things with your lenses I uh, will be providing all the files in rough format so you can download them from the description and test on your own and let me know what you find um, if you have any more questions hit me up uh, like, comment, subscribe, share the video so I can keep making more. 
And last but not least, I want to thank my friends at Picture Line here in Utah for uh, allowing me to use the 1124 for this test. If you would like to order, I'll put a description on the link. Uh, let them know that you saw the video here so we can work out more deals in the future and get, uh, be able to do more reviews for you. So once again, thank you for watching. Have a good one.